Jos Ekscelencija, Lietuvos Respublikos prezidentė, Dalia Grybauskaitė. Gerbiamas NATO generalinis sekretoriaus. It's a pity we have clouds we would see more, but we know who are flying. It is no coincidence that I address NATO General Secretary General on coming to Lithuania. Excellencies ambassadors, fellow citizens, today is a spe special day. Only a year has passed after NATO pledged under the Wells Declaration to reinforce the security of the Eastern Bloc. Today, we are opening the NATO force integration units in as many as six countries. And from Vilnius, we activate all of them, all of the six of them. NATO's engagement in our region demonstrates that the power of the Alliance lies in its concrete actions. Members of the Alliance are as always united and prepared to act together, and they have a joint understanding of the threats and challenges ahead. NATO headquarters will ensure practical readiness of all the Alliance members to react rapidly to the changing situation. This entails defense planning, organization of more military exercises and more effective operation of the NATO forces. That's how we will all be safer. Dear Mr. Secretary General, dear guests, ambassadors, Europe lives in a new security reality, and we base our security choices on facts, not on illusions or perceptions. Russian aggression in Ukraine is a threat to the security of all European continent. That is why aggressors can not be a partners. That is why we took action to strengthen our security. Lithuania introduced conscription and significantly increased its defense budget. By 2018, we expect to reach 2%. We are ready to do our part to protect all alliance. Today, we are opening the NATO force integration unit. But this is not just a unit or just a building. We welcome 40 servicemen and women from allied countries because a threat to one is a threat to all. NATO, NATO is built to defend and deter. That, I hope, also is deterrence. Lithuania is confident that with operative NATO force integration units, with continuous increased assurance measures, and with stronger NATO presence in our territories. We're safer and stronger together. I thank you all for your efforts and commitments which we invested into this event which is happening today. So thank you all once more for everybody and good luck for all of us to be strong, to be together. Kalbės NATO generalinės sekretorijus Jensas Stoltenbergas. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg now has the floor. Madam President, Generals, Soldiers, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today, we uh, raised a NATO flag over six new headquarters, the NATO Force Integration Units, here in Vilnius, but also in Bucharest, Budgorsh, Sofia, Riga, and Tallinn. As the NATO flag goes up in six of our Eastern allies, our whole alliance takes a big step forward towards greater solidarity, greater strength, and greater readiness. These six new commands and control units are inaugurated today. 
The star for each one is a symbol of NATO solidarity. Around um, half will come from uh, the host nation and the other half from other allies. This provides a vital link between national forces and multinational NATO forces. And it is a concrete demonstration that every NATO ally is committed to each other's defense. Each headquarters will have a key role in planning and exercising NATO forces, and if needed, in assisting poten potential reinforcements. They will ensure that, should our forces need to move, they can move quickly and effectively. And they help send a clear message. No NATO ally stands alone. NATO is here and NATO is ready. Ready to defend all allies against any threat. Solidarity is the essence of our alliance. Our commitment to this fundamental principle that an attack on one is an attack on all is unwavering. Today we face a series of fundamental changes in our security environment. To respond effectively, NATO must adapt fundamentally. That is exactly what we are doing. These small headquarters are part of a far larger plan. They are part of the most significant reinforcement of NATO's collective defense since the end of the Cold War. We have increased our readiness and our speed. We have significantly boosted our NATO response force with the new spearhead force at its core. And we can deploy our forces much faster than before. And we are developing ways to deal with hybrid threats. We will take further steps at the Warsaw Summit next year. NATO seeks confrontation with no one. On the contrary, we seek a Europe that is whole, free and at peace. But we will do whatever it takes to keep our nations safe. Our commitment to collective defense and to one another is rock solid. So it is an honor to declare the six new NATO force integration units in Lithuania, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Romania and Poland open. Congratulations. Dėgojame Jos Excelenciją į Lietuvos Respublikos prezidentėjai ir NATO generalinėm sekretoriui už sveikinimo žodžius. Dabar kviečiame NATO karinio komiteto pirmininką generolą Piotrą Pavelą ir Lietuvos kariuomenės vadą generolą leitenantą Joną Vytautą Žuką atidengti NATO pajėgų integravimo vienėto Lietuvoje iškabą. Maloniai kviečiame visus oficialiosius asmenis ir svečius prisijungti ir taip pat dalyvauti šioje oficialės ceremonija už baigiančioje iškilmėje. We thank Her Excellency President of the Republic of Lithuania and NATO Secretary General uh, for the congratulations. Chairman of NATO Military Committee General Piotr Pavel and Chief of Defense of Lithuania Lieutenant General Jonas Vytautas Zhukas will now unveil the plaque of the NATO Force Integration Unit in Lithuania. All officials and guests are invited to kindly join and participate in this final part of the ceremony concluding the inauguration. Yeah.